First of March, I had no classes during the day, and fortunately, I had no part time job on that night. As planned, we went outside to have a simple adventure and enjoy the day. And this time, we visited Sarashima. <laughs> From Keikyu Kawasaki Station, we took a train to Yokosuka Chuo Station. From Yokosuka Chuo Station, through the help of the map given by the lady from the tourist information booth right outside the train station, and with Google Map, we walked to Shin Mikasa Terminal. On our way to the pier, we passed by this huge arch as the entrance to Mikasa Park. Head north. So Mikasa Park is here. Around here, we're kind of lost. We even arrived near the gate of the U.S. Naval Base in Yokosuka, and this very huge anchor amazed us. Here. Thanks to Google Map, we finally found Shin Mikasa Terminal. Rosasolinia. And we arrived to Mikasa Terminal. With only two minutes left, in a hurry, we bought our tickets at the ticket house and luckily, we could take the one o'clock ferry to the island. The ferry boat service connecting the Shin Mikasa Pier to Sarashima only takes about 10 minutes and it runs every 30 minutes daily. To board the ferry, adults are required to pay 2,000 yen. That is, for the round trip boarding fee of 1,500 and 500 yen for the entrance fee to the island. Since it's on a Sunday, there are quite a lot of passenger guests boarding with us on this ferry. We even couldn't find any vacant seats. <laughs> to the sunny weather, it wasn't that cold at all on the day we were there. Before we enjoyed strolling around the island, we first had our lunch since we already got hungry the time we arrived. Careful! Since we forgot to bring our own food, we got our food from Ocean Kitchen. The only place on the island selling something to eat. literally known as Monkey Island, is a very small island located off Yokosuka Kanagawa in Japan. It is the only natural island around Tokyo Bay. Because of its ideal strategic location as a defensive outpost protecting Japan's capital city which is Tokyo in the port of Yokosuka, 
Sarashima was heavily fortified beginning near the end of the Tokugawa shogunate from around 1603 to 1867 and up to the World War II era. Sarashima was then used as a battery by the Tokugawa shogunate during the Edo period and after the Meiji Restoration in 1868, the island was developed as part of the Yokosuka Navy Yard. The fortification remains on Sarushima include excavated earthen tunnels, some barracks, ammunition depots, and artillery platforms. Mostly, the construction was done in red bricks, and with the length of time the island has existed, the structures are mostly overgrown and are covered with moss and ferns as nature slowly reclaims the area. This time, we're on our way to the observation area on the northern part of the island. Sarashima is a great place to spend just a few hours. With just an hour or two, visitors can finish strolling around the entire island. On this observation area, you can enjoy the view of the Tokyo Bay surrounding the island. And if you love marine life, make your way to the rockier areas of the shoreline, right below the observation area on the north side of the island. On this rocky shore, anyone can enjoy the tide pools for some marine life. Just be aware of the tide schedule since it is said that the tide rises quickly on this part of the island and can soak anyone who's not aware of the situation. Here, I found the biggest sea slug I've ever seen in my entire life. Can you see it? It's so amazing! After spending quite some time on the shore, we climbed up and proceeded to the Nichirin Cave. We're on our way to Nichiren Cave. Along the way, we could find one of the remains of the artillery platforms. Right next to the way to Nichiren Cave, we can find another remain of an artillery platform. And this one, I think, has its great location as it's facing the open sea. This one is another remain of an artillery platform. Mayubudong raised a very good question. Where are the weapons installed on this platform before? Now? Because of the appearance of black ships, Tokugawa shogunate considered creating a series of battery islands to protect against invasion, and Sarushima became the first such taiba, or battery island in Japan. steps. The battery suffered damages during the Ansei earthquake in 1855, however, and the tunnels and brickwork the island is famous for date mostly from the Meiji era. In 1877, Sarushima came under the jurisdiction of the Navy, and in 1881, it came under the Ministry of the Army, who proceeded to construct the fortress as it mostly is today, completing it by 1884. And the shrine on the island was relocated to prohibit public access. In 1923, the battery again suffered damages during the Great Kanto Earthquake. 
and in 1925, it was handed from the army back to the navy, who rebuilt the fortress one more time. <laughs> In 1941, anti-aircraft guns were installed on the island for use during the Second World War. In 1945, Sarushima became the property of the American forces, who then removed the functional parts installed on the artillery platforms, thus giving an end to Sarushima's history as a fortress. The island was returned to Japan completely in 1961. Hi, let's go. Careful. At about four, we finished our stroll on the island and we decided to get closer to the pier and get ready for home. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay safe, stay healthy, God bless, and more power. This is Yubudong and Yubudai Chani with Love Talk.